Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by Nature Box. Snack smarter with French toast granola, sweet blueberry almonds, and more. Get 50% off your first order when you visit naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and before you head into the weekend, pro skater Tony Hawk has revealed that a new game in his popular series of skateboarding games is incoming. Speaking on his serious radio show, he said, We are working on a game. It's pretty cool. And went on to discuss the motion capture he's currently doing. Since the cat's out of the bag, publisher Activision says Activision can confirm that they have something in the works with Tony Hawk. More info is coming soon. The most recent entry in the series, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater HD, came out in 2012 for PSN, Xbox Live Arcade, and Steam. It was an HD remake of classic levels from Pro Skater and Pro Skater 2. The last core title in the series was back in 2007 with Tony Hawk's Proving Ground for PS2, PS3, DS, Wii, and Xbox 360. So. It's been a while. And while we're revealing stuff, PopCap Games producer Brian Lidley has announced that Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare won't launch with microtransactions as many feared. He says, We're not going to have any microtransactions at all at launch. But he hasn't ruled out adding optional transactions later after the studio has had a chance to look at in-game metrics and player feedback. The in-game currency consists of coins earned while playing, which can be spent on booster packs that contain offensive and defensive items to beef up your options, as well as silly cosmetic items in true Plants vs. Zombies fashion. On the topic of resolution on Xbox One, PopCap is oddly evasive. Lindley confirmed that it's outputting at 1080p, but said nothing about its native resolution, and PopCap's official statement is, on next-gen consoles, players can experience all EA games at 1080p. Some are rendered natively, others are upscaled by the next-gen hardware systems. Either way, the visuals are stunning and the gameplay is impeccable regardless of platform. Garden Warfare is a multiplayer-only cooperative and competitive third-person shooter crossed with the tower defense elements this series has been known for. The game launches February 25th in North America and February 27th for Europe and will cost $40 on Xbox One or $30 on Xbox 360 or PC. PopCap isn't currently planning to release the game on Sony platforms, but may reconsider in the future. Lindley says, We have nothing to announce at this point, but I always caveat that with the comment that we want to get this game in the hands of as many people as possible. Speaking of Sony, the PlayStation 4 has just launched in Japan, bringing its availability up to 49 total countries, and as a result, Sony believes the console may be scarce on store shelves until April. Sony's Frugal Guerra says, I can't work it out precisely, but based on what I've seen so far, I think it is going to be tricky until around about April. Sony is also tipped to reveal their long-rumored PlayStation 4 VR headset at GDC next month, according to an anonymous tipster who also says the quality and resolution are really, really good. People will definitely be impressed with what Sony's built. Unveiling it at GDC would give developers time to start working on new titles to support the hardware and allow Sony to make VR games the star of E3 in June. But keep in mind that it was also rumored the VR would make an appearance at Tokyo Game Show, which never happened. Sony already has head-matched 3D viewers in the form of its HMZ line of devices, but these are built more as wearable personal HDTVs and are designed to connect with mobile devices like smartphones to play videos, and gamers have been waiting for the company to take the next logical step into VR with their popular console. Virtual reality will definitely make an appearance at GDC, though, if not with Sony, then with Oculus VR, who are making a presentation on their hardware at the conference. And last week, Gunner Optics' Dave Oshry teased they might be dropping a huge revision that leaves their previous Oculus Rift versions in the dust. He said, Even if you've seen Crystal Cove, even if you were at Dev Days, you ain't seen nothing yet. And later added, Everything was perfect. The fidelity, the latency, the scale, the presence. It was the first time I truly felt like I was in VR. And that about does it for the week. Do you think VR is the next big thing or will you keep your gaming sans goggles? Let us know in the comments. Have a great weekend and make sure you visit roosterteeth.com to get your RT life fix.